We're the two gay reefers. <laughs> hey reefers, how is everyone today? Today we're talking about that dreaded coral disease, STN or RTN, which stands for slow tissue necrosis or rapid tissue necrosis, depending on how fast it is, basically. <laughs> Anyone who has acros knows about this disease. It's that one where it starts off bleaching just a little bit and then before you know it, the whole colony's gone. So this particular coral that we are having issues with was a fairly cheap colony that we sometimes get over here in Australia. It started off with a hugely long polyp extension, which was really promising. We kept that going for quite a while. From top down particularly, we've noticed that the polyps are getting a nice green colour and it's looking really healthy from above. And then it's only been the last week or so, we've had a bit of an out swing and we've noticed some white, white patches appearing. Towards the back, slowly but surely, one or two little uh, fingers have started Sounds really bad. <laughs> so towards the back of the coral, we noticed some of the branches were starting to go white. That's it. Branches is the correct word, not fingers. <laughs> <laughs> After this started happening, we thought, oh, well, we'll leave it a day, see if it gets any worse. Unfortunately, from there, it started picking up and we lost half a coral in a day, which was a bit of a bummer. So we thought, let's try something to try and reverse this. So the supposed miracle dip that we're trying today is your standard witch hazel. And people use it to dry up... Which hazel is it? Which hazel is it? <laughs> anyway, with this particular witch hazel, people use it to dry up acne on their skin. Supposedly, it helps to stop the RTN or STN from spreading and slow it down and actually save the tissue that's left. So it's very easy to use, easy process. It's just a simple coral dip. We use two liters of water to cover this particular colony as it's quite a big one. Salt water. To that, we added six mil in total of witch hazel. So it's three mil per uh, one liter of, of tank water. So for this first initial dip, you put it in there for three to five minutes, agitating. We used a turkey baster in this case to actually blow some of the uh, old tissue off the coral to give it a nice clean and obviously to keep the water flowing as well. And there was a lot of tissue coming off it. Yeah, there's quite a, f uh, quite a bit of old tissue came off. After that, take the coral out, one mil of witch hazel to one liter of tank water. And this one we can leave the coral in for a lot longer, maybe one to two hours. So what results did we get? So for the first 24 hours, we actually had a bit of a promising result. It sort of stayed as it was. Wasn't getting worse. But then uh, we went away for a day or so over Easter. And when we came back, it had totally gone. We totally lost the coal, unfortunately, which was a shame. In this case, I think it was more to do with manual dosing. So when we've been dosing the no pots manually into the return chamber, it's been coming straight out of the random flow generator and hitting one side of this particular coral. And I have a feeling that might have been what causes. We'll definitely have to try it again. Uh, well, hopefully we don't have to try it again, but I'm sure we will have to try it again. Uh, and we'll give it another go. I think we may have left this one a little bit too late as well. Uh, yeah. it, was, it was already well and truly gone by the time we got to it. Um, so it was probably not the best example, but regardless of that, the results are what they are. Uh, it didn't work for us this time. Fingers crossed next time it does, uh, and we'll definitely report that on, on a future video. But what we'd like to know is, if you guys try this, if you have success with it, let us know down in the comments below. And as always, like, comment, and subscribe. Like, comment, and subscribe. Like, comment, and subscribe. <laughs> Be excellent to each other, and keep it salty, everyone. Bye for now. See you guys. Oh. <laughs>